YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with another Washington Commanders video. And in today's video, I'm coming on here with a video where we're going to be talking about some breaking news that just happened regarding the Washington Commanders. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, hit like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when new content posts to the channel like this one. Thank you so much. Let's get straight into today's video. So, ladies and gentlemen, breaking news regarding the ownership has just came out. So as we know, today was really supposed to be all about Eric Bieniemy, and I'll be having a video coming out later about his press conference once I get a chance to actually watch it. But we got some more breaking news regarding the ownership. Uh, so it just came out and said that um, Jeff Bezos is going to be working with Allen and Company, the firm that uh, is responsible for the last two ownership sales for the Denver Broncos and the Carolina Panthers to, I guess, possibly put together a bid for the Washington Commanders. This is huge because, as we know, Jeff Bezos has been interested in um, owning an NFL team. He's made it abundantly clear in multiple interviews. Um, but we know the past that he has with Dan Snyder and the Washington Post. So we kind of had the, the thinking that, oh, Dan Snyder's going to be petty and not and not sell to him. But what I was telling you guys is, like, I don't care how petty he may be or try to be. If, if he is offering him a deal that no one else is offering him, he's going to take that money. And Jeff Bezos has that power. He can outbid everybody, literally, and still not have a dent in his pocket. I mean, this guy could buy every NFL franchise if he wanted to and still be and still have no problem. So just this coming out is no surprise to me. Um, I didn't feel like he was going to own the team solely because of Dan Snyder and his petty ways. But if he wasn't going to be petty and he was actually willing to sell to him, I knew he was the front runner. I mean, the guy has money that nobody else has in this world, really. So this is going to be interesting. This is letting us know that he's going to be putting together a bid, and he's working with the last two. Um, last two, he, he's working with the firm that was in charge of the last two sales. So that's very important because these, the firm that he's working with. Um, obviously has experience in history so this definitely could be something that is going to happen uh probably in maybe the next two months um again i'm glad he's working with somebody that has experience um and i'm pretty sure that firm is going to be looking to do and uh, buy another team or help a person buy another team because that's like record history um being the being that one firm that's known for buying the last three um, ownership sales everybody's going to want to want to want you to help them out with with buying a new team but not even just the NFL. So this is definitely interesting. I'm definitely excited, man. More so than anything, I'm excited that this ownership sale is, is genuinely going to happen, okay? Because there was a point in time where I didn't think it was going to happen. Um, I thought Dan Snyder was going to be pulling a fast one. Uh, but it, it seems like it's going to be happening, man. Um, I'm definitely excited. You know, a lot of people are calling us the Washington Primes already. Um, and someone has a Washington logo with a, a Washington W and then a Prime logo with um, on it as their logo. Uh, <laughs> they call in our stadium like what, Amazon Prime Center or Amazon Prime Stadium or Prime Prime uh, Arena, whatever you want to call it. That's what people are calling it, man. Um, I honestly don't care who's the owners as long as it's not Dan Snyder. But shoot, man, if it's gonna be Jeff, if it's gonna be anybody, I definitely would not mind it being Jeff Bezos. Why? Because he has so much money. The guy can get us so much up the state um, equipment and, and a new arena or stadium and new practice facility. The guy's gonna be able to do so much for us and the players and the team. So that's not only going to make fans happy, but that's going to make the players happy. Could you imagine being Cameron Curl or Chase Young or, shoot, Terry McLaurin walking in and say, yeah, hey, I know Jeff Bezos own my team, own the team. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously all these guys are filthy rich billionaires, but this guy has, like, so much money. Like, he just don't even know what to do with himself. The guy can buy multiple teams if he wanted to. Um, and... I'm not surprised that he is interested in buying the Washington Commanders because he made it clear again that that is something that he wants to do. Um, 
Now, Dan Snyder has made it clear that he wants at least seven billion. So I'm thinking Jeff Bezos may just offer him like eight or nine billion just to be like, hey man, take that measly extra two billion and, and give me my team, man. Uh, probably something along those lines because he wants upwards to seven billion dollars so it should be interesting to see where the actual if we do get to know the actual bidding process and remember he's letting all the other people bid first because he knows he has the power bro he can outbid anybody so everybody that's bid that's 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 submitting bids for three four five six billion and dan snyder doesn't want to sell to them he could easily just sit back and that's what he's doing he's waiting for his right the right opportunity to strike okay and then working with that island company they they again is in charge of the last two franchises so that's so that's part of their plan they uh, the, the company the firm is probably telling them hey jeff man just sit back and, and wait till all the all the bids come in and then once everybody bid you go ahead and send it a bid that he can't turn down because again he can't turn nothing down jeff bezos all for him literally you want six billion jeff gives you ten eight like if I'm Jeff Bezos, I don't care that I would over have to overpay for it. Cause again, it don't matter. It don't. I'm 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 excited, man. So much good news has happened today. Um a lot of people were excited about Eric Bienemy's from press conference and what he had to say. Again, I'm not surprised uh, that he's so that he's well spoken, man. Um, but it also, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not gonna let a press conference fool me into getting me hyped, okay? Because we've done that multiple times with quarterbacks and with coaches. We let we, we, we let their press conference happen, okay? Um, and we get juiced up about it. And then it turns out to be nothing. I mean, I got juiced up about J uh, Jay Gruden's press conference, okay? I got juiced up by Ron, and, and look where we're at. We're still average and mediocre. So uh, I'm definitely excited about the new era under Eric Bien Um as far as the offensive coordinator goes. But, again, let's not, let's not over overhype the guy because we know – a press conference doesn't mean anything at the end of the day. But, again, we'll talk about that video and that press conference in nauseam later when I actually get a chance to sit down and listen to the press conference. But right now, I just want to come on quickly and talk about um, the news. It was breaking news that just came out about Jeff Bezos, man, um, that he's coming together to, to put together a bid. I wonder when he's going to submit it. You know, they said the sale could be done sometime in March. It's already February, like, what, 20? It's already February 20th, I want to say 3rd today. I don't even remember the day. I think it's the 3rd, 23rd. So if it's mid-March, maybe, like, March 15th, could the sale be done? I think it's going to be done probably in April because, again, I don't think none of the coach changes is going to happen. Obviously, with with the hiring of Eric Bieniemy, that's clear. So the staff is going to be the same. So you don't you don't necessarily have to have this the uh, sale done by March anymore because there's no changes. I mean, Jeff Bezos. I'm pretty sure he if he does in fact own the team, he's not going to make any changes, um, at least for this season. So you can probably I think probably a realistic time is when when it's all said and done, probably April. Um, I think the Broncos got sold maybe like six months after they first announced it. Maybe I think like in the summertime. I could be wrong, but I think they got sold in the summertime. Uh, but again, they that is something different. That is something different. But I mean, I'm excited, bro. I'm excited where this team is headed. You know, got a chance to possibly have a franchise quarterback in Sam Howell. Got a new offensive coordinator, and and now. Dan Snyder is on his way out the door, man. I just hope Jeff Bezos offers him something he can't turn down. Like, I don't want it to be something where it's like he even has a, a chance to be petty. I want it to be like if he is petty, he's just hurting himself. Like, offer, just get a guy $10 billion, man, and call it a day and get your team, bro. That's crazy, y'all. This man, Dan Snyder, it don't even matter if he walks away with 10 or $6 billion like he wants seven this guy bought the team for under a million dollars i think it maybe like 800k to be exact and he's about to get at least six billion dollars for the franchise that's crazy man but yeah y'all this the new new era seems to be starting bro jeff bezos seems to be genuinely making a push um and he's and the breaking news just came out that the Allen, him and the allen company are working together to make a genuine uh, bid so 
I'll keep you guys posted when any more ownership news come out. But for today, that is all I have for Jeff Bezos, man. He's buying this team, bro. It's pretty clear he's buying this team, man. Because, again, nobody else can mess with him when it comes to the money. He got it all, bro. So, I'm pretty sure if Dan Snyder doesn't be weird, Jeff Bezos is going to be our new owner. And I know a lot of you guys are excited about that. So, let me know what you guys think about it down below in the comment section. There you have it. As always, it's me, boy, Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe. Hello to the Washington Commanders. We're on the road to 6,000 subscribers, so please hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. Thank you so much. See you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.